pretty well, sure Colonel liked to take down, you know, you know. But uh, he didn't like it. I mean, he, he didn't like being married. Right. She he didn't want to be married. It. He didn't want to hate it in the first place. He didn't no. want to get married to her. To no. her first. It was not. It, He'd already not been married to her for five fault, years almost. You know. I mean, he wanted to live with her. there. He's and they couldn't do anything to stop it. No, not at that age. <laughs> no, it, was, it was difficult because he would call at all hours of the night. Uh, we'd talk on the phone two and three hours at a time. Um, yeah, I was encouraged to, to go to school and, and e to even date somewhat. You know. Did you? I did a little, yeah, I did. So in a 1985 interview with Barbara Walters, Priscilla explains that her relationship with Elvis was more of a father-daughter companionship. Body lessons from stuntman and martial arts expert Mike Stone, and eventually had an affair with him. Ultimately, Priscilla's lack of an intimate life with Elvis reached a point. Don't get married because he shouldn't have been married. He didn't want. No, I know. Yeah, that's the key. You know, he did love her. Because I do feel like you know he would be there. He would protect me. Yeah. I feel like that's the protection that I haven't ever had since mm -hmm. I was nine. And so I think, especially recently, I think that he would absolutely protect me. Good evening. Elvis Presley died today. He was 42. Apparently it was... When Elvis Presley died in 1977, his will left his estate to three beneficiaries, his father, Vernon Presley, his grandmother, Minnie Mae Presley, and Lisa Marie. Both Vernon and Minnie Mae died within a few years of Elvis, leaving Lisa Marie as the sole beneficiary of the estate. Under the terms of Elvis's will, Lisa Marie was not entitled to receive her share in the estate until she reached the age of 25. This meant that those assets were held in a trust for Lisa Marie, presided over by Priscilla Presley, the National Bank of Commerce in Memphis, and Joseph Hanks, Elvis's former accountant, as trustees. In 1981, Elvis Presley Enterprises was formed as a company with a professional management team intended to manage the assets and conduct the business of the estate Although the Presleys retained ownership of Graceland, the doors of the 23-room mansion were opened to the public under the organization of EPE. Lisa Marie became entitled to receive her share in the estate in 1993, but rather than receiving this outright, she opted to create a irrevocable living trust, also known as the Promenade Trust. In addition to holding Graceland and all of Elvis's personal assets, this trust held 100% of the shares in EPE. This trust was created by and for Lisa Marie Presley when she was 25 years old as an estate plan and contained provisions for how it will be managed and named, who the beneficiaries are, and how that will play out. The initial co-trustees named were Lisa Marie, Priscilla Presley, and the National Bank of Commerce in Memphis, Tennessee. In this trust, it listed the distribution upon her death to be one-ninth to Navarone and Priscilla, with the remaining eight-ninths to Lisa's living children. It also noted her preference in education for the children as the Church of Scientology. There was an addiction clause that would allow the co-trustees, in this we assume Priscilla in regards to Lisa Marie, to drug and alcohol test and remove income if found dependent on substances. Also, it states that once all living descendants are no longer available to inherit distributions from the estate, that the estate would be dissolved and split 50-50 between the Church of Scientology and a homeless charitable organization. I found it interesting and items to note were also that Marco Garibaldi, Navarone's father, was listed as Priscilla's spouse in the trust document and that a majority vote rules for all items within the trust and you will shortly see as hands continue to change. Priscilla most likely aligned herself with an additional trustee in order to outvote Lisa Marie as necessary and probably customarily. I'm a very direct woman. If I do not get that approval, and please understand that I have a controlling interest. I shall fire you all on the spot and replace you with a board that will approve. When Lisa Marie launched her music career in 2003, 
she was introduced to Barry Siegel through Marco Garibaldi. Barry had been Marco's own personal manager. Barry became Lisa's business manager and a co-trustee with Priscilla. In 2004, less than two years into his role, Siegel sold 85% of the trust's interest in EPE, which was still worth around $100 million. This business decision would later become a source of contention and legal battles between Lisa Marie, Barry Siegel, and her mother. On July 30th, 2007, Priscilla Presley removed National Bank of Commerce as co-trustee and appointed City National Bank as co-trustee. In October of 2014, Tony Ortega, one of the foremost reporters on the Scientology beat, working to expose them, reports that Lisa Marie has left Scientology for good and was fighting a war with the organization behind the scenes, helping stories come to light that exposed, according to him, the most despicable practices of her former faith. Lisa Marie couldn't believe it and left. And at that point, she told the people she was with, that's it, I'm no longer a Scientologist. So October 2014, she's out, really upset about what had happened. Now, Lisa Marie removed Priscilla and Barry Siegel as both current and successor co-trustees and appointed herself as current trustee and named Riley and Benjamin as successor trustees. Lisa Marie files for divorce with Michael Lockwood in June 2016, ending their 10-year marriage. In 2018, Lisa Marie filed a $100 million lawsuit against Barry Siegel when she realized her trust had been squandered. In her lawsuit, Marco Garibaldi stated he was in the room in 2004 when Priscilla and Barry plotted together to sell off 85% of Elvis Presley Enterprises in order to take it away from Lisa Marie so that she couldn't spend all the money. In doing so, they both were placed in the new company and both drew a salary. Barry's yearly salary was $500,000 a year and Priscilla's $1 million a year. In addition to her yearly salary, Garibaldi said Priscilla personally made $13 million from the sale. When the deal was done, Lisa Marie was only left with around $40 million after taxes, plus $25 million worth of stock in the future holding company of American Idol, which eventually went bankrupt. And that was far from the only piece of misfortune. And for this, she lost all rights to her father's name, image, merchandising and royalties from recorded songs. I do feel like, you know, he would be there, he would protect me. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's the protection that I haven't ever had since mm -hmm. I was nine. In 2019, Priscilla sold one of her homes. The headlines read she was forced to sell the home in order to bail out Lisa Marie from her financial woes. In a quote from one of Priscilla's pals, she stated, Priscilla was doing this as it's Lisa Marie's last chance. But behind the scenes, others reported that Priscilla actually started to liquidate assets in order to repay Lisa Marie based on a sealed settlement that was reached with her daughter over the Barry Siegel, Elvis Presley Enterprise lawsuit that unearthed that Priscilla had been making $900,000 a year. The lawsuit revealed Siegel negligently mishandled her money and that he had allowed and in fact lobbied her mother's nearly seven-figure income, even though Priscilla had not been performing any sort of executive-level work to justify the salary. Priscilla's salary had not been disclosed to Lisa, nor was she given the same salary benefit. In 2020, Lisa Marie's son Benjamin passed away. Lisa Marie Presley moved out of her home as his death had left her in shambles. He was buried at the Meditation Garden at Graceland alongside his grandfather. Benjamin was just 27. In 2022, Navarone got married in Switzerland. Lisa Marie was not invited, and an insider said, Lisa did not care. She wouldn't have gone even if she'd been invited. She and Navarone hate each other now, and they have for a while. Navarone reportedly blames Lisa Marie for permanently fracturing his family after she recruited Marco to testify in her lawsuit against business manager Barry Siegel. Navarone has never forgiven or forgotten what Lisa Marie and his father did, spills the insider. He'd even changed his last name to Garcia. Navarone also launched public attacks on Lisa Marie, posting she was an effing expletive before wishing her dead on a now-deleted post. This morning, Lisa Marie Presley has died after reportedly suffering cardiac arrest on Thursday. TMZ reporting Presley was found unresponsive at her Calabasas home Thursday morning. Engine 125 squad, 68th full arrest. Her ex-husband, Danny Keough, performing CPR until medics could arrive. On January 26, 2023, 
Priscilla filed a petition in the court seeking to invalidate Lisa Marie's amendment, which replaced her as a trustee on March 11, 2016. On January 26, 2023, Barry Siegel tendered his resignation as co-trustee of the trust. Despite Priscilla contesting the 2016 amendment, pursuant to Article 12 of the trust, Riley had automatically become a co-trustee upon the death of her mother on January 12, 2023. Michael Lockwood is the father of Harper and Finley, and he was appointed their guardian ad litem. The trust owned a life insurance policy at the time of Lisa's death. The trust is now entitled to the proceeds of the life insurance policy. The beneficiaries of the trust are as follows. Lisa's half-brother, Navarone Garibaldi, one-ninth of the trust, and subject to a separate sub-trust, and Riley, Harper, and Finley equally split the remaining eight-ninths of the trust. As a result of Priscilla's petition contesting the will and other related disputes that arose, Priscilla, Riley, and the guardian ad litem, Michael Lockwood, entered into a settlement discussion to resolve these various issues that impacted not only the Promenade Trust, but also the life insurance policy. On May 11, 2023, the parties entered into a settlement agreement that, with the exception of Priscilla's immediate resignation, is subject to court approval. As part of this settlement agreement that they all have signed, including Priscilla, she agreed to resign immediately. Therefore, on this day, May 11, 23, Riley became the sole trustee of Lisa's irrevocable trust. Absent the settlement agreement litigation was likely to occur related to Priscilla's role as co-trustee. For Priscilla not to be removed would have been costly as she intended to charge a trustee fee. Such litigation would have also slowed the collection of the life insurance proceeds. The terms of the settlement are as follows. There were 95 pages associated with this settlement, and part of it was the promenade trust that I was breaking down earlier. Also, there were some exhibits included in it in which people had resigned, Barry Siegel's res resignation, um, and also... Priscilla requesting that all of this get sealed for fear of her own mental health and physical safety and harm of her son and um, Harper and Finley. So um, she is for fear of her two minor grandchildren. She did state that specifically. So uh, I think that she's trying to get manipulate the, ju the judge to feel a little bit sorry and worried and concerned for the, the minor grandchildren and how the public may react to the intricacies of this settlement. But let's not forget that none of this would be here had it not been for her contesting uh, the 2016 amendment in the first place, which just so you know, when I was researching this and I found uh, the articles regarding Marco Garibaldi's involvement in Lisa Marie reaching a settlement with Barry Siegel and Priscilla <clears throat> that in 2019, the reporter stated that Barry Siegel had been fired in 2016. So that amendment had existed in order to fire Barry Siegel. A reporter knew about it. We know the full truth. Riley and Priscilla have come to an agreement along with Lockwood who represents the twins. And, uh, they have filed this with the court for the court to approve. And as soon as um, they do so, Priscilla is going to relinquish control and turn it over to Riley. And Riley will then be able to file and collect the life insurance policy. And then in doing so, she will be paying off Priscilla um, off the top <clears throat> an undisclosed amount. But here, take your money and go and leave us all alone. To avoid all the fees that would have happened with litigation. And then also she is going to pay her off to the top, uh, the, uh, the one ninth portion of Navarone. And now we know that does come from the promenade trust. So this came from Lise Marie way back in the day. So she never took it out. And, you know, I just say, good, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's all going to the Scientologists anyways, in the end, a lot of really cool people are Scientologists. So one ninth will go to Navarone off the top and, and the other undisclosed, a million dollars will go to Priscilla. And then Riley is also going to be reimbursing her for the legal fees that she says expended uh, in order to contest the will and the 2016 amendment. 
And then also she has agreed to bury her at Graceland as close to Elvis as uh, she can possibly get her. And she is uh, allowing Priscilla to name who she wants at her memorial service and who will um, be a part of her burial. Uh, also to note, it says that Priscilla will be able to access any, any items that are hers from Graceland or any storage garages and uh but it's up for priscilla to prove that those are hers and riley will help her to the extent that she can but she doesn't guarantee anything and uh last but not least priscilla will be um a special advisor now as for your title i was thinking special advisor title um to the trust as for the share her shareholder interest in Elvis Presley Enterprise, I'm trying to determine where the special advisor role comes from, aside from the fact that, yes, that's a way of getting paid. So she'll be paid an undisclosed amount that we don't know for the next 10 years, whether or not Riley uh, fires her, or terminates her. Also, Riley can uh, Riley is responsible for telling her what her duties are in regards to that role. Uh, my question is, is that is she the special advisor because she still owns her own and separate interest in the Elvis Presley Enterprises that is not a part of the trust. And it is part of what she and Barry Siegel broke off with uh, back in the day. And so then she might be the bridge between the two as she's possibly, you know, had her feet in both buckets this whole time. And now she's separating from the two. So anyhow, uh, that's what we've got for the latest, guys. Um, I'll be back for more. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about all of this. about it's yours it's what i can do for you you don't care about me or text or anybody just yourself is that